Hey, Philly. Hey. Uh, Crabzilla here in Pacific up here. And, uh, yeah, people are just, it's a bit slow right now, but they're catching bait fish. So, check it out. I got some snails. Whoa, nothing. <coughs> yeah, people are, actually salmon bobbers are out there and they ended up here. I think people are trying to catch up with salmon. Oh, the great salmon run. Oh, wow, look, a bullhead. Bullhead. Oh, no. They sure look like link hods, man, and bullheads, don't they? They look like little link hods. Yeah. What do you say about that, Phil? Uh, oh. Bullheads. Bullheads. Bullhead fishes. Look at that. People are camping out there. I see yeah. birds diving all the way in the edge. I guess it's lunchtime for them. Yeah. What do you got to say about that, birdie? Ah, pigeons, wedges. You pelicans. Come on, pelican. Damn. Flying rats. The pigeons. Look, someone surf casting right there. Several. Right off the surf. I wonder if they're going to cast anything. And we got some more all the way by the apartments over there. I don't think I've seen a run yet. But I heard the runs is in uh, Lindemar. I think that's where the run is right now. It's in Lindemar. All right. There we go. Yep. Uh, don't look like anyone's catching any big ones today. But we got some uh, salmon bobbers out in the end, and we got some striper fishers fishing here using shiners they caught this morning. Uh, nothing landed yet. Hopefully, something will land. Any luck, guys? Not yet. We're down, down there? Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, I'll go check it out. Thanks. Well, there is a striper that's been caught. Hi. Oh, they must have used the shiner. They must have the shining. The shining. Okay, let's see. Who caught that striper? We shall sniff them out. All right. Right off the shore. Ah, there's a striper run. Everybody's uh, surf casting over there on the end with hair razors. Scare razors. Squazers. So, I guess we have one striper. Oh man, that's a nice one. Alright. Okay, striper gutting 101. Let's take a look at these anglers here. All right. Hey, bro. What's that? Yeah, I'm Crabzilla. Is this your striper? Yeah. You caught it? What you catch it with? The shiner? No, uh... No, no, who limo? With the shiner? Young bait, no? Uh, sand crab. Sand crab. Ah, sand... Yeah, you use sand crab for that. Where, where do you catch it at? Right off the beach or on the pier? Oh, from the beach. Nice. There's a run. Yeah. Oh, they're back. Oh man, I'm surf casting now. Bring my hair razors. Pull out my hair razors. What kind of fish is that? Uh, striped bass. Striped bass. So big. Yeah. Is that how typically they are? Oh, they get bigger. I got pictures that's bigger on my camera. Yeah. I caught me a 54 pounder. Yeah. Wow. When they get that big, you don't really want to keep it, you know, because uh, they're old and oh. they have like parasites. Oh. But when when they're about that size, that's perfect right there. That's I mean, good for cooking? yeah, they're great for cooking, making soup and 
filet, you know. Yeah. Yeah, these are these are good eating fish. Yeah. Yep. Nice striper. Time to scale. Nice. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, salamata. Thank you. Great work. Now we need about 12 more getting caught on this pier, and we're good. <laughs> 12 more stripers, please. See this guy surf casting over there. You want to go down and cast? Yeah, let's go down and rock away. Want to go by Rockaway and start casting? Yep, yep, yep. Here, Pacific Pier. This is Crabzilla's new blog on a Saturday. See, there's people out there at sand crab. I think they're catching them off sand crabs and just bait fishing, actually. That's what they're hitting them on. <coughs> Yeah, a lot of people are just bait fishing with sand crabs. So if you ever try to get sand crabs, you just get them right off the shore right there. Try to get the one with the really soft shell. Uh, God, the shell is soft. Is that a tongue freaking twister or what? Soft shell. That's a soft shell. Yeah. See, when you analyze these here waves, see how the waves are, are forming. And you notice how this like it's really dark and bubbly on one side. That's usually the sand getting rolled over. See that rollover of the sand? That built that takes all the sand crabs and spits it out where the striped bass runs clear across where there's a pool, there's a there's a canal that goes through here. And those are the areas that you want to surf cast or place your bait on. Because that's what they want. That's what they you know, they gobble up a whole bunch of that stuff. I mean, even if I went back there, if I had went back there and checked out what's in the stomach of that striper, most of the stripers that I see, you know, are gutted out from here. Most of them have sand crabs in their belly. It's a natural bait, but it's actually, it's, it's actually the best bait for striper if you're going to be bait fishing. But if you're you're planning to surf cast. There's several types of lures that you could use to catch them. But yeah, they hit till midnight around here. So yeah, guys, good luck with that. Oh man, is that coyote? It's wildy coyote. Yeah. It's a coyote. Hey there, coyote. Yeah, it looks like a coyote, huh? What that thing looks like, coyote? Freaking wolf. Hey Wolfie! Hey Wolfie! How's it going Wolfie? See now, some of these people are just bait fishing right now. I figure that's the only chance they have to really catch these stripers at this moment. Uh, there's so much bait fish out there and shiners. I mean, you know, sometimes they have a different flavor of things when they, when they eat. It's not like something that, you know, you know, it's like us, you know. We don't like to eat cereal every morning, now. You know, they're the same thing. So, yeah. No glass containers. No dogs allowed. No skates. But we catch skates here sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go. Crabzilla's out. Yeah.